In your Meet sessions for Google for Education Enterprise, you have the ability to ask poll questions or multiple choice questions to your students or the participants in the meeting. To access these, we click on the Activities icon in the upper right-hand corner. Here we'll see our Polls option. When I select Polls, I first have the option to start my first question. This works like any multiple choice generator that you've used before. You type your question and then your answer choices. You can have up to 10 answer choices for a question. Once you have your question ready, you have two choices. You can launch the question so it goes directly to all students, or you could click Save. If you click Save, the question will just sit there and be ready for you when you're ready to send it to students. This is a great feature because it allows you to create multiple polls. If you log into your Meet a little bit early, you could set up all of the poll questions that you want to ask your students. And then throughout the Meet, when you're ready to ask, you simply click Launch. When you're ready to launch your poll, let's take a look at what it will look like for students. On the left, I have my teacher version, and on my right, I'm logged in as a student. When I click Launch, a notification will pop up in the bottom right corner telling students that you've asked a poll question. Students can then click on that announcement, or they can go to their Activities button, and next to Polls, they'll see a green dot. That lets them know that there's a new poll question. When I open that up, I'll see the question that my teachers sent out. I then have the ability to select my answer, and then I can click Vote. Once I voted, I cannot change my answer. I'm locked in at that point. On the teacher's end, you'll see that as students are answering, the votes are tallying. At any point, I can choose to show everyone the results. This will take the bar graph view that I see and show it to the students instead of their individual choice. I can also take that ability away at any point. If I'd like to, I can delete the poll or I can just click End the Poll. I then have some others saved that I can very easily launch to my students and they'll see them in their polls activity window. As a teacher, I can see that I may need to talk about homework again because I have a tie vote on whether or not students have homework tonight. Use your poll questions to quickly get feedback from your students. At the end of every meeting, you will get a spreadsheet in your email showing you the results of the poll. These can be found in your Google Drive in your Meeting Reports folder. You'll find the folder for the session that you were just doing and you'll see your polling results right there in a spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, you'll see on the first tab the name of the student and then how they answered to each poll question. Each poll will appear in a different column. You then have a separate sheet tab for each individual poll that you asked. Here you'll see the question and then you'll see vertically each of your students how they answered, and the time that they answered that question. This data will stay in your Google Drive until you are ready to delete it.